In exercise 8.3, we need to calculate the tax amount and in Poland and maybe in other countries too, we need to round the tax amounts to whole numbers. Uh, so uh, we need to cut it uh, at some point by a kind of rounding formula. And this is another formula that might be used inside the calculated field. So uh, let's try to insert uh, a basic pivot table with the order date on rows but we just need the years coming from the order date if uh, it has not been grouped automatically you can always right click and uh, group it for the years level and let's calculate the sum of uh, profit and based on this uh, profit calculation based on this uh, sum we need to calculate the tax amount using the tax rate 19 percent of the uh, profit but we need to round it to uh, the whole numbers so this is once again uh, the task for the calculated field where you can create a new uh, field the name uh, tax amount and then create the formula let's round the calculation sum of profit multiplied by tax rate which is 0 0.19 to zero decimal places this is once again the formula uh, you need to know from the normal excel or maybe from the other uh, video course of mine which is the formulas and the data operations we add this calculation confirm by hitting ok and we can right now check uh, the end result once again the grand total calculation might uh, cause us some problems because if you would sum all of the uh, single year tax amounts that we have inside this calculation the result might be a bit different because of this rounding uh, grand total works on the whole database and doesn't just sum up the uh, content of your pivot table it's just calculating on top of your uh, whole data source so it calculates the global sum of profit and then applies the calculation uh, around uh, the profit uh, multiplied by the tax rate so uh, it is recommended for this scenario too to turn off uh, the grand totals uh, to not to confuse uh, the audience and uh, calculate maybe uh, other things outside of the pivot table that we are still going to uh, practice later um, Pivot table uh, calculations uh, are available inside of your pivot table fields, uh, so you can uh, look at them in here, but uh, there is also another way how you can check what are the uh, calculations created for your pivot table by generating the list formulas. Uh, by hitting this uh, operation, you will generate the list of all of your calculated fields with their formula that you can right now check you've got also the calculated item in here which we will discuss uh, later within this exercise with this calculated field list what you need to remember is that it is, is a static worksheet so whenever you want to refresh it you need to generate it once again